Good morning, Calvary. It's Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. And today I want to share with you from Psalm 20. And specifically, I want to reference one verse that has become a just kind of a, a constant verse with me, a reminder of God's goodness and what he wants of us. It's Psalm 20, verse 7, which says, Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. Now, what in the world does that mean and why is it significant? Well, if you're a follower of Jesus Christ, if you actually believe Jesus is the one and only Son of God and Savior of the world, and you believe that Jesus died on the cross to pay for your sins and was raised from the dead, and you've made a commitment to follow Jesus with your life, then God wants you to trust him and not other things. Now, the chariots and horses, they represented power, military might, for a king in that day and age that he would depend on the strength of his army to protect him, to provide for him, to uh, kind of be their security blanket as they dealt with life. And, and see, God wants you to trust him instead of other things. God wants you to trust him instead of your power, your money, your influence, your connections, your health. He wants you to depend on him rather than all these other things that surround us. Uh, we know this from the writer of Hebrews who said, hey, without faith, it's impossible to please God. For anyone who comes to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. So um, if you're coming to God and you're, you're praying to God and you're saying, God, I want your help, I want your blessing, I want you to, to rescue me, to save me, to lead me, you really have to trust in God and not in these other things. See, a lot of us can be guilty of using God as a last result or last resort, but God wants us to actually use him as a first resort. He wants us to live our lives trusting him in everything. And, and that's so important right now because there's a lot of people who are afraid. They're afraid for their health. They're afraid for the political landscape of our country. They're afraid for the financial uh, future of our country. They're afraid for their own financial future. They're, they're afraid whether their loved ones are going to get sick and die or they're going to get sick and die. And, and there's just fear all over the place. And there's all kinds of competing voices that are saying, hey, trust me in this and trust the doctors in this and trust the policy in this and trust the politicians. And, and God says, some trust in chariots, some in horses, some in their bank accounts, some in their politics. But we, as followers of Jesus, we trust in the name of the Lord our God. What does that mean? It doesn't, it doesn't mean that we just say that we trust God. It means that we actually trust God. And in James chapter 1, the Apostle James says, Be doers of the word and not hearers only, and so deceive yourselves. Be doers of the word. You know what trust looks like? Trust looks like believing God and doing it acting on what he says, actually hearing God's word, which is why we read it, and then saying, okay, God, you've told me to do this. I'm going to do this. It, it means that we actually try to love our neighbor as ourself. That as ridiculous as it sounds, we actually try to love our enemies and pray for those who persecute us. It means that we verbally bless those who want to cause us harm and we refuse to curse them. It means that we forgive whether or not they ask for forgiveness. You see, these are crazy things that Jesus tells us to do. But that's what it looks like to trust God. It says, God, I'm going to, I'm going to believe and I live because you in, are in control. You love me. You've got a place prepared for me. And I'm going to take your truth and I'm going to apply it to my life even when I can't see it, even when it doesn't make sense. That, that's where our kindness comes from. That's where our heart for serving comes from. That's where our generosity comes from in saying, God, we trust you. We trust you to bless, we trust you to provide, we trust you to exalt, we trust you to, to meet our needs. We're going to trust you. So I don't know where this finds you today, but I know some of you are, are kind of nervous and scared because you've been trusting in the wrong things. And as the psalmist said, some trust in chariots, some in horses, but we, we trust in the name of the Lord our God. I pray that you'll Demonstrate that faith that you have in Jesus today in some tangible way. God bless.